This is a badge related to the visits that it's made to Berlin. It shows a divided city. Yeah. The Soviet side, the American, the British and the French flags and it divided Berlin. When did you get it? Uh, that would have been in the early 1980s. Oh, okay. um, there's Estonia, okay. there's Holland. Holland, the very famous windmill rally that they have in Holland. Uh -huh. Symbolise that. That's the uh, East German Motor Club. Um, the in the GDR days, there's the old East German flag there. When did you get that one? That would have been in the late 1970s. That. Well, did you attend a particular uh, a particular rally? Yes, there were uh, a big rally in Wernigerode, um, and uh, we were awarded that. There's Prague from when we went there yeah. in 2006. Uh, that from Riga um, in Latvia, Vilnius mm -hmm. in Lithuania, that 1988, that would be 1988. That's an old Polish motoring badge there, um, which is quite a rare one because it's got the crown on the eagle. You see many um, other Polish badges like this one here. Well, you've got the eagle, but there's no crown on the top. That's an old Polish motoring club yeah. badge, but there's no crown there. But there, that's got the crown on, okay. um, and that's a very unusual badge. Yeah. That is the uh, Soviet railway badge yeah. uh, worn by the uh, guards there. That's my father's old army badge when he was in India, the Royal Signals, and that was his cap badge there. When would, would it, oh, that would have been, been about 1942, 43, oh, okay. something like that. Um, that's the Motor Club of Gdansk in Poland. Mm -hmm. There is the Basque Country from where we went in 2005. This particular badge was given to me by uh, a good friend in Wernigerode in East Germany. That's he, probably the most interesting. Well, he had a bike called an Imperia. Yeah. And in 1932, this bike was awarded uh, this badge for uh, winning. Um, he still had the bike, but this was now in East German days, days of the GDR. And to own anything that related to the time is were rising to power was a punishable offence. So he had this badge kept in a hole in the wall of his garage. And I went in there, he closed the doors, took the brick out of the wall put his hand down the back and pulled out this badge and uh, we became good pals and he asked if I would take the badge back in secrecy back into the west and then put it on the Morgan and wear it on the Morgan in respect of the achievements that his bike made but if he put it on his bike he would have been put in prison. What does that mean on it do you know? I've got no idea but it, it relates to the date uh, which is uh, 28th of March, 1932. Okay. That's an old badge of Slovakia. I believe it shows Slovakia and Hungary. Um, and it's a badge that, um, uh, obviously to relate to our visits that we made to Slovakia and Hungary. There's one there, another one for Riga in 1988. Mm -hmm. Polish badge, an old motoring club badge from a rally in Warsaw, Warsaw in 1987. And that badge was when we went in 2006, um, the F-60, which was the largest moving land machine in the world. It was to um, bucket wheel excavate the lignite coal in East Germany, and it had survived, and we went to visit it last year. Okay, thank you very much, Terry Martin, for his masterclass. That's quite right for having me, mon dear. <laughs>